Hi, Omega Chaos here again with another real life tech profile and this time I am showing my updated Rocket tech. So with the new ban list, Color Dragon LP is finally banned, which definitely hurts this tech quite a lot. And also Striker got Striker Dragon got limited, which didn't, doesn't really affect me too much because I only run one anyway. So, I guess, let's show the deck. So first the monster, so first I use, of course, triple. Rocket Tracer, the main combo piece of the deck. Really amazing, a little Fortuner, stuff like that, and can summon rockets on the deck. Then, one Rocket Synchron, which is pretty good as well, a level 1 tune, and they can revive uh, Dark Dragons from the graveyard. Then the rockets that, if they are destroyed, they get another rocket from the deck in the end phase. So one explode rocket dragon. So if I link mon link most turrets it, both players get uh, 2000 damage. Definitely pretty good level summon dragon as well. Then triple magna rocket dragon. Really amazing because if I link, link most target targets it, of course you can destroy itself and then you can send one monster your opponent got close to the graveyard. It doesn't target, doesn't destroy as well. So it's really good out to certain cards. Then triple silver rocket dragon, really amazing as well. So of course if a link monster targets it, it destroys itself and then you can banish any monster from a point's extra deck, which is really amazing. I can of course choose a key, their key card and they, they might be screwed potentially if they only run one of it. Then I run one Metal Rocket Dragon, just for a name, it's pretty good, but I don't really use its effect very often. Then one Auto Rocket Dragon, pretty good as well, again I just use it as a, not a rocket name, but if a Link Monster tar targets it, you can destroy itself and uh, spell Trap Card. Then one Shell Rocket Dragon, another rocket name, as a pretty complicated um, effect and it's not really too relevant either and then one honesty rocket like on another rocket name but this effect is actually pretty good that if a link monster targets it destroys itself and then one face up monster's effect effect is unable to attack and it has its effect negated as well so pretty decent card for sure then one rocket recharger pretty decent rocket name its effect can be useful in some situations. Then some other supporting monsters. Triple Absolute Dragon, very important card for this deck. If you control a rocket monster, you can spot some of this card from the hand. And if this card is not the graveyard in any way, you can search for rocket monster from the deck to your hand. So really amazing card for sure. Then I run Triple Noctovision Dragon, another good extender for the deck. If a dragon monster is plus a month, you can spell one this card from the hand, and if this card is sent uh, to the graveyard as link material, you can draw one card. It's, it's other effects are not really that relevant, because of course you don't play any back row really. And then last most in the main deck are triple gateway dragon, which can of course summon level 4 lower dark dragons from the hand. That would be pretty good. Now, the spell cards, and uh, we don't run any traps in this deck. It's still mostly a combo based deck. I try to, I guess, um, reimagine the deck as a control deck, but that didn't work at all. So, yeah. So, first, uh, triple quick launch. Of course, summons any rocket on the deck, but then it's destroyed in the end phase. Then, triple sweep draw. Really amazing card as well. Start a rocket motion control. Destroy it and then you can draw two cards. So that will lead pretty good for sure. Then I also run one rap trigger. It's the, it can summon the, your fusion monster. Uh, it also will become searchable with the new support that is coming out in, in Burst Destiny. Then I run one boot sector launch, of course. Still a very important card for the deck, of course. Then I run triple Boral Regenerator. Really good extender for deck, and also if um, monster revive it gets destroyed, 
you can destroy it by anything, you can draw one card. Then one mostly board of course. Yeah, I don't think I uh, this card needs any ex explanation. Then there are two Dragon Shrine, basically to of course send any Tiger Dragon to the graveyard, mostly Absolute or Dragon. And the last card in the main deck is of course one Foolish Burial. Yeah, pretty much to send Absolute to the graveyard again to search out any Rocket Monster. So now let's see the next deck. So first I use, of course the main card, one Burial Load. Dragon, of course, really good card. You can take control of any monster if you attack with it, so it's definitely really nice. Then I run one Boral card dragon. This is the main, actually, Boral link monster that I'm going to summon first turn because this card cannot be destroyed by card effects, which definitely is really good. And then, of course, I run one Boral sword dragon for the water cape plays and stuff like that, so still really amazing. So of course, uh, soon we probably going to get uh, Pora Land Dragon and we probably going to have some really good stuff in Burst Destiny as well. So then I run one Toborzik Servoras, pretty good card, because now your card Dragon Engine is not that important, you can now summon more uh, non-dragons in the stack. Then I use one Unchained Abomination. Definitely pretty good in this deck, I think. Can destroy a lot of cards. Then I run one Triple Burst Dragon. It can be useful in some situations, still, I think. Then I run one Booster Dragon. It's kind of like a mini Polar Road Dragon and stuff like that. You're able to just target something and then target the Rocket and then trigger, trigger its effect and stuff like that. Then one Quad Polar Dragon. Definitely pretty good as well to extend your play, stuff like that. Then one Dylan Cherestagon, a really good card for this deck as well. So you can summon your Link Falls easier. Then I run one Heretic Seal of Celestial, of Heavenly Spheres. Obviously it's a um, really good disruption uh, in your opponent's turn, so definitely very nice. All the time, you can summon this card first. Then of course around one Striker Dragon that is now limited for some reason because um, the thing is that I used one anyway before and uh, it doesn't really do anything and always the main problem was always a card Dragon LP, not uh, the Rocket Engine. Then I do still run one card Dragon that is card Dragon Pisty still actually is pretty decent, um, but of course it's not even nearly as good as it was before. Then some other extra deck monsters, one Borrowed Fusion 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 Dragon, of course still a really good Fusion monster. One Borrowed Savage Dragon, so of course still really amazing as well. Although with the with the new combo, you're not going to summon it first turn most of the time. And then one Polar Load Charge Dragon, still pretty good I think, although I'm not summoning it very often. So let's show the main combo as well. So now let's show the main combo of this deck. So uh, for this combo you need just any two rockets, one of them probably should be level 4 lower, then Absolute Dragon. And an extender like Polar Generator or Quick Launch or something like that. So, or you need access to Rocket Tracer and something else as well. So, with, for this combo, you can just normal summon your Rocket Monster and then spell someone Absolute Dragon. Then going to Link Summon with these two. To summon out Heatic Seal. So basically you already have a one disruption and then going to activate absolute as effect to search out your rocket tracer. Obviously very important. Then you're going to activate 
på Regenerator. Då sa man back där Rockat Monster. Den går links när man into Striker Dragon. Den activate effect. Då kan ett boot sector launch från the deck. Så det är en pretty simple combo, I guess. Activate boot sector launch. Så nu har jag två rockets på the hand. Så tracer den där rocket as well. Jag kan inte link samman. Into God, I can piss there. Of course, since both strike a dragon and piss are pointing to the zone, I'm going to revive a dragon monster, and that is, of course, this time Rocket Tracer. Then link someone with strike a dragon. And piss there to summon out Still Ingenious Dragon. Then activate Rocket Tracer effect, destroying it at your one of your Rocket Monsters. That has the End phase reviving effect. You pretty much summon any rocket you want because you're going to use it as link material. And then link summon and summon, summon portal guard dragon. In the end phase, going to activate the rocket's effect that you just destroyed with rocket tracer. Then summon Silver Rocket Dragon from the deck. Then, because it's still the end phase, you're going to activate Braga's effect, targeting Silver Rocket. Then Silver Rocket destroys itself, and then you can punish um, um, any monster from the opponent's extra deck. That's, of course, really amazing. And then, in the end phase, because it's still the end phase, you're going to be able to summon with Silver Rocket. Mother Rocket Attack from the deck. So that's another disruption in your opponent's turn. And you banished your opponent's extra deck monster. If they only run one of, one of the essential extra deck monster, they will be pretty screwed. So that's the main, I guess, basic combo of the deck. It's not, of course, not that great. It's not five negates or anything like that. But it's still pretty decent. Even if they get rid of your field, you have some recovery, like your put sector launch if they still keep it on the field, and also if you use the portal card again to to use Mag Rocket's effect, and then that uh, end phase will end phase effect will activate again, and all that. So that's it for uh, this real of deck profile. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, for now. Goodbye and Omakius, out.